Hello everyone, welcome again to Tokyo, Japan. I have a couple of people that are arriving in about an hour, and then another group that are arriving in two hours, and I'm going to show them all over Tokyo, and then they're moving on to a different city without me. But they can't do that without something called a Japan Rail Pass. People know it here as the JR Pass. This is crucial if you want to travel through Japan efficiently, effectively, and not spend a fortune. But the problem is there have been a lot of changes and misunderstandings regarding the pass itself. So I'd like to entitle this video, Understanding the Japan Rail Pass. When you're heading to Japan and visiting more than one city, a Japan Rail Pass is invaluable. Now, if you're landing in Narita and spending six days in Tokyo, I believe a Japan Rail Pass is a waste of money. But if you're visiting multiple cities in Japan, then it's crucial to your journey. Those who travel to Japan call the Japan Rail Pass the JR Pass, and I'm going to do the same for this video. The JR Pass is a prepaid pass that allows you to use JR-related options in Japan, and it isn't limited to trains. There are also JR buses and ferries, and it's a great way to travel through Japan from major city to major city on one pass for 7, 14, or 21 days. Now, the JR Pass works on the JR Transit system, and this is important to know because some trains and ferries and buses aren't part of the JR system. But whenever you see the JR logo, you can use the pass. If it's not part of the JR line, the pass won't work. This image is a good thing. Here's a good example of the effectiveness of the pass. When I bring tours to Hiroshima, we always visit the island of Miyajima. It's so close and a real highlight of the tour. Now watch this, it's awesome. In the morning, we walk from our hotel and see the Peace Museum and Monument. Then we walk to the local train station, access the JR train line to the JR Miyajima station. Then we hop on a JR ferry to Miyajima. Everyone sees the sights, eats a great meal for about 15 bucks, and absorbs the town. And when we're done, we reverse it. JR ferry to the JR station, then the JR train back to the subway station, and we walk back to our hotel. Thanks to the prepaid JR pass, the only expense for the entire day was the meal. And about five years ago, I was alone in Japan between tours, and I wanted to have some fun and challenge myself. Using the JR Pass, I traveled from Kagawa, Japan, to my Tokyo hotel, taking six different commuter trains, two buses, and one ferry. I traveled a great distance using a wide variety of great options with just the pass. The only thing I paid for for the entire journey was about eight bucks for a bowl of outstanding ramen and roughly three dollars for a few beverages. Thanks to the pass, I spent about 12 bucks for the entire journey. And if I didn't have the pass and purchased everything separately, it would have easily cost me about $243 dollars for the day just that day now how to get the jr pass and this is crucial hop online and purchase the pass from a reputable vendor here's a few i've used them all and they've been great You'll purchase a 7, 14, or 21 day pass. Once purchased, they will confirm your purchase and convert your purchase to a physical voucher. They will print out the voucher and send the voucher to you via FedEx or DHL or some other form of express mail. You'll get a tracking number and an estimate of the date of delivery. It's usually a very fast turnaround. Now, this is important to note. The voucher you will receive isn't your pass. You see, when you travel to Japan, you bring your voucher with you. When you land in Japan, you can go to one of the hundreds of JR travel centers. There's always big ones in major airports. And the staff will check your info, verifying it's you. They will match the name on the voucher to your passport. Then they will verify your travel dates. Then, they'll convert your voucher to a JR Pass. They take the voucher away, and you get this. This 
is your JR Pass. Now, up until a few years ago, the JR Pass was a small folded booklet, and I loved it. I used it all the time. It was so handy, but now it's simply a small coded ticket the size of a business card, and I'm not going to lie to you, I don't like that. It's too easy to lose, and many people who travel internationally aren't exactly the most organized. They'll accidentally mistake it for garbage or confuse it with a receipt at a convenience store, and if you lose it, you have got a problem. So, I place my JR Pass in a small plastic protector that's just about the size of the pass. When I take it out to use it, it goes right back in. I don't talk to anyone, I don't buy anything, I won't make a decision. I won't use the bathroom or even look at the clock until that little card goes back in its protector. And I'm truly serious about that. Five crucial things to keep in mind. Please take note of this. It can make all the difference. First, when you enter your personal information to purchase the pass online, make sure it matches the name on your passport perfectly. If your name is Robert Smith on your passport, don't purchase the JR Pass by typing Bobby Smith. It has to match your exact name. If there's the slightest confusion, they will not issue the pass to you. Secondly, Do not lose your pass. I don't need to tell you how problematic it is to wait in line at the JR office again to tell them that you lost it. There's a big review and investigation, and if you lose it, there is no guarantee you're getting another one. I'll say it again. Do not lose your pass. And all the screaming and frustration at the ticket counter isn't going to change the rules. This is not Burger King. Third, make sure you activate the pass when you need it. Let me explain. When I bring a group to Japan, we will land in Narita and then we will go to Tokyo. We might stay in Tokyo three or four days and then travel to Kyoto and stay for about three days. After Kyoto, we might go to Himeji for two days. After Himeji, we travel back to Narita to spend our final night. To ensure that the seven-day pass is used effectively, I activate everyone's passes after we visit Tokyo. We don't need to use the pass while we're in Tokyo. We just use common trains and walk around. When we leave Tokyo and start trekking across Japan, that is when the pass is handy. And then, on the final night of our trip, the pass conveniently expires. Fourth, Don't purchase your bullet train voucher online one week before your trip. Purchase about a month in advance. In the event there's any misunderstanding or confusion or delay or credit card purchasing problem or a slow delivery, you can easily rectify the issue with a few weeks to spare. You will breathe easier. And finally, if you make a gigantic mistake and you travel to Japan without your voucher, all the panicking in the world isn't going to help. You see, the pass isn't duplicatable, it's non-transferable, nor replicatable. You also must purchase your JR voucher before you travel to Japan. You cannot purchase your voucher while in Japan. It's illegal. The JR passes are used to encourage tourism. But if you accidentally left your voucher at home, do not panic. Contact a friend or family member. Tell them to pick up your voucher, go to FedEx, and send it to the FedEx office in Japan at your hotel. It will arrive the next day at your hotel front desk. Then you can take it to the JR ticket office and you can get your pass. But please avoid this problem. Overnighting a small voucher to Japan is going to be expensive. But if you make that mistake... You gotta suck it up. Now, again, if you're planning to stay in Tokyo, Japan for about five or six days, there's no real value to the pass. I wouldn't waste my money. You can easily get by with the subways and walking around and taking cabs or even an Uber. But if you're planning to travel throughout this beautiful country, visiting more than one city, exploring lots of places, the JR Pass can be an invaluable part of your trip. 
Take the advice from someone who's worked out all the kinks, solved all the problems, and can pass the best advice on to you. I am speaking from 18 years of being a tour guide to Japan. Visiting this magical land more than seven dozen times. A JR Pass will help you cut back on any confusion, drastically reduce your spending, and allow you to absorb some of the most amazing moments of your entire life. Hopefully, that clarified things. But listen, as always, we provide links and information beneath this video. And then, as always, there's the Contact Us button. Click on it. You can contact me or my staff directly. For journeytojapan.com in Tokyo, Japan, I'm Carl Rosa. Thank you for watching.